what we have here is an old laptop that runs great, but it overheats and then it starts going really, really slow. And you find that, hey, if your laptop has a poor cooling system, what is it going to do in order to prevent damage to your internal components? Well, the computer has intelligence built in that says, oh, I'm getting hot. I need to do something here. I need to turn up the fan. Okay, fan isn't doing it. It's still getting hotter. So now I got to turn down the central processing unit, the CPU. What happens when we downclock our CPU? All of a sudden, our computer starts to go slow. Right? Yeah. So it does that in order to prevent damage to the components of the computer. And this is both desktops, laptops, whatever, even my phone if it gets too hot will warn me that it's getting too hot and it starts shutting down things. Yeah. Um, unfortunately, Samsung didn't implement that feature. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> Fail. Um, so are you getting updates? Yeah. That's amazing. Well, During well, the live show. It's time to restart your device. Your, res your device will restart Almost at 8 o'clock to finish installing updates. <laughs> <laughs> this, this is live on the air. <laughs> this is amazing. actually happening. Can we get the yeah. go oh, yeah. The, okay. Yeah. This is really happening, this is, folks. This is my, yeah. my laptop. Welcome here. to this. Windows 10. This is yeah. my laptop that I have it from home. Yeah. It goes... <laughs> yeah, we unplugged so there. it warns you at 15 minutes ahead of time? Yeah, I guess your device will restart at 8 o'clock to finish installing updates. If this time works for you, select confirm. If you want, you can restart now or we'll try later to restart Let's outside of hours. Yeah, yeah we'll maybe try later. later. We're yeah. Just in case we're we don't end right on time. We're in the middle of something time. here, Kelsey. I know. <laughs> we hate to get sidetracked, but once again, <laughs> Windows 10 interrupts everything. <laughs> and if we're, if we're lucky, uh, Wirecast will not, that computer won't reboot itself for enough yeah, that'd be during nice. the live broadcast. <laughs> Okay, so we've got this laptop here, which does not have Windows 10 on it. <laughs> it has Linux. Actually, Ubuntu Mate is installed on here. And as I was saying, the computer will slow itself down in order to keep itself cool because there's something wrong with the cooling system. So yeah. first of all, we can open it up. We've got the battery in it and fire it up. And oh, what are you doing? oh there was like a snapping sound. Yeah, that didn't sound good. Something didn't sound good. And there's, there's no air coming out of this side vent here. I wonder if there's something in there. Because it, it, the, it started grinding. Did yeah, you that was hear that? Good. <laughs> not good. Okay, so I'm not even going to turn have, it on. This is, your, this is your laptop from home. This is like Becca's laptop, This is right? just an old laptop. Okay, so we, and you have kids. That we use for demos on the show. Okay, you, it wasn't at home with your kids, right? Like it oh, it has like been at the, home with the kids. In yeah. like the sandbox. So I wouldn't put that past them. <laughs> <laughs> it, may have, it may actually have a Hot Wheels in the cooling system. <laughs> exactly. It's possible. Okay, so with this particular laptop, uh, and every laptop is just ever so slightly different, the one that we're looking at tonight is a Compact 6510B, so that dates it. Um, you can see that it is a rather old system, but we can, we can buy time on these old systems by adding, uh, fixing components. Yep. So you could take this to a shop, and they'll say, oh, it's really old or whatever, but it runs Ubuntu Mate like a dream. But it overheats. It gets really hot, and then it gets really slow. under ten dollars it's pretty cheap on amazon you can do a search for the model number you can type compact 6510b cooling fan and you'll find it for like six bucks okay pretty decent so yeah <laughs> compare that to a two hundred dollar repair yeah. or having to buy a new laptop so with this particular laptop again it's going to be a little bit different for each and every one uh but let's uh i've got this camera here specifically so that i can kind of show you around so on the bottom here you can see this little icon that looks like a keyboard and that points to a screw and you see that there are a couple of those three of them in fact there's one here. It's a little hard to operate everything all at once. But there's a keyboard one there and a little screw hole and one over here. And that's there. So quite often we need to remove the keyboard in order to gain access to the internal components. The keyboard here actually has a lot of stuff underneath of it, like the motherboard, the cooling system, the processor, yeah. all that stuff is under there. So let's get in there. I'm going to just simply remove those three screws that I showed you there. It helps to have a screwdriver handy. You know, those are those are necessary usually. Oh yeah. Now this one's a little bit different because this one is actually a door to the memory compartment, no less. Let's see if I can get you a camera view here. 
or is it dead? Uh, I charge the battery. It just shuts down after a few minutes of non-use. That's all. But I want to want to get you the view. Okay, so this is actually the memory. So if you want to upgrade the the memory, that's here. Okay, and that's a simple flip of the wrist like that. Okay, this is the wireless adapter here. Oh, can you guys see that? Okay, this is the memory. This is the wireless adapter. There's the antenna coming off of it. And there's a screw here that looks like the keyboard screw. So it's hidden there. I'm just going to simply loosen that one off. We've encountered before with this laptop, I love that the screws don't actually fall out. That's something that I do like. It, it has like a spring mechanism that holds them there. So that's kind of cool. It's All right. pretty useful. So now that that is loose, first of all, I'm going to be getting into the internal components, and I should have done this before I ejected the RAM, but I'm getting ahead of myself. Remove the battery oh, so we yeah. don't have any power, okay? Because that could hurt. Well, we don't want to zap it or anything like that. We could also ground ourselves if we have any static issues. Um, so there we go. So this keyboard... Again, a little different than some others. This particular keyboard, now that I've removed the screws, got a taut cable there. There we go. This particular keyboard, now that we've removed oh. the screws, uh, we need to flip these little switches here. Can I, can I maybe different. for yeah. one quick second? Because everybody wants you to remove the battery. They did. I already did. Okay. Yeah. Really, Don Batman it. might not have noticed I'm that. I'm right on top of it. <laughs> So okay. It's over there now. It's far, far I took away. It, I took it out. It's right here. And and I stopped touching things with with my static fingers. Oh, perfect! Thank yeah. you. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So I've got a couple of these little switches here. It's really hard to do this here, upside do you want down. Me to there we go. Oh, I've only got one more, Kels. There we go. So now that those are done, I should be able just to kind of pop here. Do you want to take that camera? Yeah, I'll take the camera. You can hold it up a little bit higher so that we can. You can see there. Now I should be able just to get right under there. And if I can't, watch the keys. You don't want to pull the keys off. There we go. Okay, so there we've got the keyboard up and out of the way. And here is the cooling system. So this goes to a heat sink that goes to the CPU. And this then blows air over the fins here and out the side of the computer. So there's going to be a couple of screws here that we need to remove. First screw. There we are. Don't want to lose it. Looks like it's attached. And should be one more screw here somewhere, which looks as though it might be under this bezel. So if we're careful, should be able to get that up. There we are. And you can see there's one more screw here. How you doing, Kels? Pretty good. Doing all right there, camera gal? <laughs> there we are. Okay, so now we've got this screw here. Don't lose those. So this is the cooling fan that's completely dead. And you can see that here's the power for the fan. I'm just going to pull that out of the motherboard carefully. You don't want to break anything. There we are. Okay. Oh! <gasps> you see that? Hey, little buddy. There was a, a screw inside the CPU fan, the cooling fan. No Which wonder. probably that grinding noise. That would have been the grinding noise, I guarantee you. Okay, so let's pull out the, uh, the new fan that we've got here. You can see how easy and how quick this is to repair, eh, folks? So again, the, the part itself is only, you know, a few bucks, under 10 bucks on <laughs> anywhere you want to get it. Amazon is where I picked it up. So that just goes right in there. And I'll show you again. So this heat sink here, now I might want to clean that up. I probably will. I'll take it apart again and blow it out with some uh, compressed air. Uh, but we're not going to do that on the show tonight. So we're just going to put that in there. And so we've got the two screws. Alpec yeah. totally called it in the chat room, said way earlier that it was a screw in there. <laughs> Did you think it was? Oh, absolutely. Way you, to go. Yeah. So way to go, Alpec. All right. Nicely done. Okay, so in here, we got our screw back in there. Sorry about the camera, folks. It might be a little shaky. That's my fault. Especially if you tickle, tickle, okay, tickle, okay. tickle. Okay, <laughs> Jeez. <sighs> All right. Um, I wonder if this screw would actually fit. Because this screw is attached to this fan. So can I use it? Could this be the blessed screw that allows us to... 
oh, it's some kind of weird. It's not Phillips. It's like an Allen key screw. Yeah, but so let's see if I can go? pull this out. I don't know where it's from or what it's for. Where but did you come go. from? Where did you go? What are you doing? Where did you come from? Their little screw. So I do need another screw for this. I mean, I kind of do. It's tight in there. It feels good. So uh, in this particular case, I'm short one screw. I'm going to find one and I'll, uh, I'll put it in there. No problem. <laughs> and it, <laughs> it reminds me of Jot when I built the server and I forgot to put a couple screws in and he gave me the hardest time. <laughs> now, you know, anyone wants to talk about that, the CPU fan is held in with one screw. And here's the power for that. There we go. That's just going to go in one way. There we are. So make sure that there are no obstructions in the fan, no screws. This does not go right there. There so we go. Not a good thing to do. Nice and simple. Put that in. Clip these guys back together. Got to get that uh, top part back in properly. Oh, the bezel here? Yeah. yeah, that just snaps. There we go. Okay. Almost. Almost. So I say. So I say. Thanks, Kels. Robbie's having issues. <laughs> <laughs> issues. So, Robbie, what are the chances that the original fan actually wasn't broken and that maybe it was just the screw? Oh, well, see, the problem is, Sasha, is that the fan itself with a screw in it mm -hmm. would not be able to spin, and so the bearings would actually burn oh, out. Oh, okay. Right? That makes sense. So you would need to replace it rather than just take off the screw. Okay. That's yeah, the, the fan nice. itself is no longer any good. I wouldn't trust it at all. Okay. So. That's good to note. Yeah. I'll just leave it like this, and you mm -hmm. can... There we go. I got the bezel in anyways. Yeah. There we go. So this is only going one way. There. Boom. Voila. Easy repair. Okay. So I've got the three screws at the bottom here to put in. I can do that. I'm going to do that after the show because I know we've got more questions. Yes. I'm going to throw the battery in and let's just see if that fan fires up. I can hear it. Nice. I can feel it. It's cool air blowing out of there. Yeah, definitely cool air. Brilliant. <laughs> Repair complete, folks. How Woo! long did that take? In all honesty, could we have done like, that in five minutes if we weren't carrying on and having fun? <laughs> Probably. <laughs> Probably Absolutely. could have, eh? So I've got a couple of screws to put in the bottom here. I'm going to do that right after the show. And then uh, there we go. Yeah. That's your basic, simple repair to a laptop if you've got a dead cooling system. Yes. I've got an extra screw if we ever need From that. From somewhere, probably From important. From somewhere. <laughs>